Okay, so mm. all righty. So, um, new coach call. I've got a lot of stuff. It's going to be a lot of notes to be taking. Um, and at the end, I will have some time for questions. If you have anything that you want me to go over again, um, a lot of it is from your coach online office training and academy. I'm going to go ahead and mute everybody just so that um, I make sure everybody can. There we go. Um, so all this stuff can be found um, in the training academy in your online office, but I wanted to walk you through it because it is really important to make sure that you get started on the right foot, feeling like you know where to go without being overwhelmed or like you have to be doing 50 different things all at one time. Um, so the first thing is to go into your online office, which you simply go to your Beachbody website. Um, just go to beachbodycoach.com, um, and then you log in, and you're going to go to the top, and you're going to click um, to log into your online office. Um, and this is the hub for training updates. Um, Beachbody will update with any um, challenge pack um, sales each month. It's going to show you your success club points, it's gonna show you your commissions, it's gonna show you your customers, it's gonna show you coaches you've signed. Um, so as you grow your business, this is the hub for all the information. It's where you're gonna go um, to see your leads when you start qualifying for leads. It's just the hub for everything. Um, so you're gonna to wanna to kinda of get familiar with that. So I always just suggest going and finding your online office and just clicking around. Um, check out the homepage, see what's available to you, what's in the columns. Um, it will show, you know, who your personal coach is, who your star diamond coach is. Um, it'll show you your current rank, all that good stuff. Um, but firstly, let me make sure. So they've, they've switched a few things around. So I was trying to click around and make sure I had it correct to um, search this training. Um, and I believe, so you're gonna wanna go to news and training. You're going to want to go to training, and then you're going to want to go to the training library. And that, as a new coach, is your hub. You're going to want to watch those videos. You're going to want to um, download a few things and print off. And one of them that's really important is the business activity tracker. And what this is, is simply a sheet of paper. I have one right here that I was going to have pulled out and have to show you. Um... Nope, not here. Of course it's not here. Uh, but it, it simply breaks down your day. So what it's going to do is tell you, um, you know, each thing that you should be doing each day. As simple as drink your Shakeology, do your workout, have you done personal development. Um, and some of these things I will be talking to you one-on-one -on -one about. But it simply breaks everything down. So as you go through your day, you can mark it off. And it's just a checklist. So just like you would have a checklist at work, um, a house cleaning checklist, you know, laundry, dishes, blah, blah, blah. It's the same thing for your business so that you can feel accomplished. And at the end of the week, you can see where you're at in your business. It's going to help um, you track the people that you start talking to. It's going to help you feel like, you know, a business owner because as a new coach, it can be so overwhelming of, oh, I kind of made a post. I kind of announced I'm a coach. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. That breaks it down for you. So get the business activity tracker and use it. If you want to modify it, if there's things on there, you know, if it says, you know, invite daily, write on there. Say, how many people are you going to invite to a challenge group? Um, or how many people are you going to add to your network to start sharing? How many posts on your Facebook do you want to make a day? And fill that in however you want it customized to your business. Or chat with your upline coach, whether it's me or um, one of the leaders on our team that's your personal sponsored coach. Talk to them and see, you know, how many do you invite? What do you think is a good number for me based on your lifestyle, where you're trying to be in your goals by the end of the year? Um, so that's something that you want to get downloaded, printed off. And when I first started as a coach, I printed off 20 of those bad boys and I just stuck them in a binder and I filled it out every day. Did I drink my shake? Yep. Did I do my workout? Yes. No. Um, and then you can go back and you can see that week, you know, what you've done, what you haven't done, what you need to work on, um, and what you're excelling in. And then when you have one-on-ones with your coach, you can share with them, you know, what you're struggling with, what you feel like you need help with. And you can be, you know, picking up on questions that you have for your coach um, so that we can make sure that you're getting all the help you need on, you know, areas in the business that you might need, you know, a little attention in. 
Um, so business activity tracker, that's number one. It's key um, to have that. It's just your, your tool, your guide. Um, and then your, let's see, it's called something different now. I want to say it's your getting started right guide, but I think it's the seven day quick start, I believe now. Um, and that's also in that news and training section. Um, and it simply is going to break down. It's going to have you fill out who your sponsor coach is, what your coach ID number is, just stuff that you're going to want to have on you. Um, because as you're building your business and starting your business, it's nice to have coach relations email, their number, um, what you have access to right there in a notebook. Um, cause you're going to have people asking like, Oh, Hey, I had an issue with this order. Who do I call? So you're going to want to have that information. So the seven day, um, quick start guide, I believe is what it's called now. Uh, and then, so the main topic I wanted to talk about tonight is the three vital behaviors. They are on the business activity tracker. And these things are what are going to be key fundamental items to building your business. If you do nothing else in your business, these three things happen every day in my business. I know they happen every day in leaders' businesses. Um, they happen in my uplines business, everybody's business. Um, if you want to see growth and you want this to be more than a hobby or something as support for you in your weight loss goals, um, these are the things you're going to do each and every day at a slow pace or fast pace. You can pick how much of each top thing you're going to do each day, um, but you want to make sure you do it each day. So your three vital behaviors. The first one is inviting. You can't run a challenge group without challengers. You can't coach anybody if you don't have anyone in a challenge group to be coaching. So you need to be inviting because people don't know what you're doing and people don't know what you have to offer unless you start reaching out to people. So by inviting, I mean talking to people. It doesn't mean cold invites every day. It doesn't mean, hey, will you buy this? It doesn't mean that you have to sell a product right off the bat. It does, however, mean that you need to create conversations and people need to be aware of what you're doing. So you've probably already, I think most of the faces on here, you've already made a post about becoming a coach, but that's just your first step because on Facebook you get lost. So if you've made one post, that's not enough. You've got to start making those public announcements each and every day through you sharing your story, sharing your journey, sharing you know your life, sharing your family, sharing whatever it is that you are doing daily, on your Facebook page. And that's part of the invite process. Um, it's simply making people warm up to when you invite them or you create a conversation that they're gonna wanna ask you about what you're doing. They're gonna instantly scroll your page and see what you've been doing. Um, so when you start a conversation, say with an old friend from high school, maybe it's a college roommate, maybe it's you know your mom's best friend, an aunt, a sister, a cousin, a brother, whoever it is, you don't have to feel like you have to sell them anything. If you're sharing on your Facebook and you're creating um, a conversation, that is what an invite is. I do cold invites and I do warm hey girl invites. So there are two different types, but you need to be invited. You need to be reaching out to people. Um, a lot of my invites looked like, hey girl, I'm not sure if you've seen my crazy fitness and health posts on Facebook. I just wanted to reach out to you because I have a 30 day challenge coming up and I would absolutely love to see if you know you have any fitness and health goals or if you have any friends that have fitness and health goals that would be interested in a group like this. Simple as that, send it. I would send it to five people a day. Um, and if you want that script to copy paste, I have a Hey Girl script in our um, coach page. So you can simply take that, refine it, make it yours, make it not feel weird, make it feel like you and you send that to five people in your friends list or 10 people or 20 people, whoever, however many people you want to invite today. Um, or an invite can be simply, hey, Ashley, I haven't talked to you in years since high school. How have you been? I saw you just got a puppy. You know, scroll their Facebook, see what they've been up to. Saw you just got married. I saw you just had a baby. Hey, I saw you just moved to California. Must be nice. You know, something to create a conversation because what this does is it creates an opening for them to start watching you. And as you're blossoming and you're becoming a coach and you're growing a team and you're working on fitness and health goals, people like that start following you. I have people that sign up with me that followed my journey from the very beginning that say, hey, I've been following you for a year and a half. Do you have one of those groups going? I'm like, uh, yeah, <laughs> like, I don't know where you came from, but yes, sure. Um, so inviting is key. You have to be reaching out to people. They will not reach out to you. There are some people that will. There are those few that are like, hey, sign me up. Where do I go? But that's like the 2%. You are the 90% must invite, must reach out. Um, so it is your daily 
goal to reach out to at least two people, reach out to three people, reach out to five people, whatever you're comfortable with, and then write those people's names down. So track those. Um, and then personal development. So we're talking the three vital behaviors. Personal development is something key in every coach's life because if you are not growing um, yourself in your own mind, your spirit, your soul in this business, you will not succeed because you will start drowning. Let me tell you, you will get overwhelmed. You will feel inadequate. And if you're not working on yourself, you can't help other people. Um, so personal development can be a few things. I love listening to um, books on Audible because I'm, you know, cooking, cleaning, making dinner, being mom, whatever, driving in the car. If I download a book on Audible, I can listen to it, you know, traveling back and forth. Um, I don't always have time to sit down and read 10 pages of a book. When I do at night, I love sitting down and, you know, doing 10 pages or 30 minutes of personal development, just reading, you know, gleaning knowledge, gaining knowledge in coaching and business stuff, and also just personal, you know, growth in myself. Um, so personal development is huge. If you need a book list, we have one in our team page, um, or ask your upline coach, you know, whatever you're struggling with, there's no right answer of what your personal development should be. Um, I'm currently reading, now that I'm pregnant, I'm reading, you know, stuff to just keep me motivated. <laughs> so it doesn't always have to be business building. I really like the compound effect for any new coaches. Um, it's a very simplified, easy read. Um, it's small, but it's something that's going to help you build your business and kind of get, you know, a clue into how you build this business and why we coach and why we're consistent in these things. Um, and then the third three, of the, ugh, I can't talk tonight. The third of the behaviors is adding people to your network. And what, what this means is you may have a hundred friends on Facebook. You may have 80 friends on Facebook. You may have 500 friends on Facebook, but eventually as you're inviting each and every day, you're going to run out of people, right? So you have to continually build your network. You have to continually meet and add new people. And it doesn't have to be scary. Um, when I first started, I joined groups. I wrote down on a piece of paper, I have it somewhere, I just wrote down uh, one through 10, and I simply put interests of mine. What, who was I? What was I interested in? And then on Facebook, I searched groups that had those interests. So I used to be really into running, so I joined some running groups. I was a mom, a new mom, so I joined um, some diaper groups. I joined, oh gosh, some mo new mom groups local groups, um, stuff like that. So I know I have a coach who's in a lot of dog groups. Um, whatever your interests are, you can go in groups and start being active and add people from those. Add them as friends. Shoot them a message. Say, hey, you know, I saw we had some similar interests. I hope you don't mind the friend request. Doesn't make it weird. Um, and then as you get going, there's plenty of ways to add to your network. I know, I think Carrie does this a lot. She just searches in the search bar people in her area or people interested in random stuff. I can't even, I'm trying to think of um, some of the stuff she's searched, but like people under 40 living in Arizona interested in wine drinking. That's just off the top of my head, but anything. And she will pull up a list of people. She'll scroll past the um, people that she's already friends with, and then she will add people one through 10 or five a night or 10 a night, um, simply by searching those people and then send them a message. Do you send them a message, Carrie? Okay. So some people, I don't do it anymore, but send them a message just saying why you're adding them. Hey, I saw you on Facebook. We had some similar interests. I love filling my Facebook with, you know, people that are similar to me. So I hope you don't mind the friend request. And then you leave it to them. They either accept it or they don't. But if you're adding every night, five to 10 people, you can guarantee you're going to be getting new eyes on your page as you're sharing your story. Um, so that creates new people, new contacts, new invites as you're going. All right. So the three vital behaviors, invite, personal development, and adding to your network. Those are non-negotiables. I made them a priority in my business when I was working 60 hours a week, had a one-year-old and was moving. I did them every day. If I was sick, if I was puking on the floor, you better believe I listened to, you know, a book, <laughs> like, listen, <laughs> I did my invites. I added people. Um, all I can say when you're adding people, look to be sure they're not coaches already because you don't want 50,000 coaches um, in your network and then nobody to invite if they're already a coach. And then also make sure that they're not mutual friends with your teammates. 
because you don't want to be adding somebody that somebody might be talking to already. You know, we don't want to step on each other's toes. So we always look, I'm like, oh, you know, I'm going to add this person. Oh, wait, they're friends with Morgan. I'm assuming she's probably talking to them. So obviously you can't catch everybody, but if you see their friends with 50 coaches on our team, don't add them as a friend. Don't reach out because they probably already have a coach or somebody that's trying to help them get in a group. Um, so that's just a little something to be aware of because nobody wants to step on anybody's toes. And we obviously all want to be respectful of one another. Um, so when I go into, say, for example, if you go to friends, you might know people, you may know, you'll have somebody that's, you know, 50 mutual friends. I might not have any, you know, coach friends of that person. So I'll add them. But if I have, you know, several coach friends as a friend, I usually will just leave it alone. Um, so that's just a few tips when you're adding to make sure to be cautious of that. Um, all right. So then I wanted to go over who you have as support for you and your business. Obviously your upline coach is your go-to mentor, um, your best friend in the business, but they also are not going to run your business. So you need to have coach relations number. Um, I can give that to you, but you should all have it already. It's on the team calendar. I will pull it up and write, hold on. I will read it off to you so you can write it down right now and then save it in your phone. Oops. Sorry guys. Okay. It's one eight zero zero two four zero zero nine one three. That is coach relations number, 2400913. And they will, um, you just need your coach ID with that and they can answer any of your coach questions. Um, you also have access to live chats anytime, 24 seven. So if you go log into your online office, scroll to the bottom, you click the contact us button, you can click live chat and you can chat with anybody at any time about any issue you have. Um, this is great if you have a customer that signed up and accidentally gets assigned a different coach. Maybe they already had an account. Um, whatever it is, they can help you get them switched over. They can help answer any questions about success club points, about an order you had, um, anything. So live chat's great. You can also use email, um, coachrelations at teambeachbody.com. Um, you can email any questions um, and stuff you want to know from that. Usually they send you an FAQ. So use their FAQ on your Beachbody site first um, before you email. Um, you also have team B TBB411. And that's basically just the news and training when you log into your online office. It's all the news that will pop up as it comes through Team Beachbody um, on the side. When you're on your online office, just top right hand corner is always updated with news um, from Beachbody. Um, they have a Team Beachbody page on Facebook. Um, there's a Shakeology page on Facebook. So make sure you're connecting with your resources so that you're up to date. Um, they share, you know, and be in our team page because if there's a new flavor of shake, if there's um, challenge pack sales or something going on, I try to let my team know first. So if you're in the team page, you can always connect there, ask questions there. Don't ever hesitate to reach out to anybody in the um, team page. All right, so then logistics of a brand new coach, you're going to want to make sure that your website is set up. So what I mean is a profile picture, a little bio. Um, if you don't have before afters yet, at least put your befores, share something, um, share your progress pics. Um, because as new customers are coming in, they're going to see that you're the face of your business. So you want to have a picture of yourself and just a little blurb about who you are. So make sure your website's set up. You can click on your Beachbody account, go to your um, profile and just go through setting it up. It'll say, you know, add your pictures, you can put your bio um, and you'll need that as you become Emerald and you want to gain leads, um, which are free customers from Beachbody. You have to have that set up anyway. So you want to make sure that's set up. Um, and then if you go to your online office, Go to the business tab, scroll to the bottom and click EFT. That is your um, way to get paid without getting having to wait six weeks on paper checks. E, um, you will get EFT will um, account link to your bank account and it'll pay you automatically every Thursday each week. So when a paycheck shows up under commissions, you'll receive that check the following Thursday. So our paychecks run uh, or our pay weeks run Thursday morning through Wednesday night. Um, and let's see, every Monday we have what's called a national wake up call. It's 10 o'clock on Monday mornings, um, central time. 
Um, and what it is, is basically it's just like fill your cup up for the week. A, a coach usually talks um, and just shares, you know, it's usually a topic and it's just training for us. So it can be random topics, but it's just something to get inspired. It's to hear other coach stories. It's to hear, you know, the other people from different parts of um, coaching, whether they're moms or business owners or work other jobs, just to share their experience and tips and, you know, inspiration for you. So every Monday, if you can't be on, um, they're always recorded. So you can call the recording line. I usually post every Monday morning about the call or Sunday night about the call to, with the phone number. Um, but it's also in your online office to get those um, and the recordings. Um, you can also get um, the podcast app for your phone and search Beachbody and uh, like a whole log of the national wake up calls will come up from the very beginning. So you can go back and listen to as many <laughs> back as you want. That's great for personal development. If you want extra things to listen to um, and extra trainings. Um, and then I have a personal team call with our team on Fridays at 9:30. Um, you'll see me post about them in the team um, coach page and they will be on the calendar. Um, there's always a monthly calendar that I put up in our, um, homepage picture. What's that called? Not profile picture, but the banner. Um, we'll always have a calendar so you can kind of see what's coming when we have coach sneak peeks, when you can expect, um, new stuff coming up and just kind of tips on when to post about challenge groups, when to post about sneak peeks, when to post about different things. It'll remind you to drink your shake sometimes. So you can always um, refer to that calendar for, um, stuff that's going on in our team. The national wake up call isn't on there just because it's every Monday, everybody knows it. So I don't put it on the calendar. All right, so that is logistics training. Let's see where I'm at. I wanted to screen share for a minute. 25 minutes, good. That was pretty good. Sorry guys, I'm breathing heavy. I was like so tired today and my stomach is like from traveling. So I apologize. All right, so I wanted to get into setting goals because this is huge as a new coach. Um, everybody signed up for a different reason. You have different reasons as to why you want to coach, where you want to be as a coach, you know, um, who you want to coach. Um, so I wanted to kind of share with you a little bit about my why and then give you some homework. So as far as setting goals, when I first started coaching, um, I was on antidepressants. I was working. I was a new mom. I, I wanted to coach because, well, first I was getting a discount and I thought it would hold me more accountable if I was helping other people get started. I was like, well, there's no way I'm going to quit if other people are, you know, trusting me and wanting to buy this and do it with me. So that kind of excited me because I knew that I would just give up. If I bought something, I had bought plenty of stuff in the past and it would go sit on a shelf and I was like, man, no, no want to use it. So I knew that if I bought something and then I tried to um, get others involved, I'd be more likely to stick with it. Um, so that was my original why. I, I kind of was excited to, you know, be inspired, be around a group of people that were going to help me and then also help my, the people around me to keep me going. Um, and then as I started coaching more and kind of seeing what it was about and seeing the team and the women that supported one another, my why changed a lot. I saw the paycheck start to come in, kind of drizzle in. And I was like, oh, wow, like I could actually do something with this. And I saw my why change to, wow, I want to be home with my little girl. I could totally quit my job, be a full-time coach. So my why was my daughter. Um, so it can evolve, but I want to encourage you to create a why, to know why you're coaching is huge and not just a paycheck. Like if you write down money as your why, I would encourage you to push past that. What would the money do for you? Because for me, a paycheck was nice, but my why was I was so sick of walking out the door with my little girl either still sleeping or crying because I knew I was going to be a gone all day and somebody else got to play mom all day. And then I would walk in that door exhausted and try to get through dinner, bath, and then put her to bed again. And it was so sad. I was dealing with um, postpartum depression. So it was just getting through the day, every single day, going, I don't want to feel this way anymore. I want to be home with her and actually enjoy this and, and feel like I can support her. Um, and so my, that was my why. The paychecks were great and they were coming in, but I knew that that little girl deserved me to push and to try and to be healthier 
and to stay, you know, in challenge groups and be fit and the best mom I could be. So that was my why. Um, my why has evolved again. Um, I would absolutely love to help my boyfriend to get out of his job. He's been working so hard. He's supported me. Um, we have an amazing family. We're, you know, ready for number two <laughs> coming here in April. And, you know, I would absolutely love to see Beachbody financially help us just be a family and have the freedom that he could be home with the kids and not be working 60 hours a week at his job. So it evolves, but I would encourage you to write down the reasons why you coach. Write down the reasons why you'll coach in six months, why you will continue to be consistent each and every day of inviting, posting on your Facebook, running challenge groups, showing up on team calls, doing personal development, drinking your Shakeology, all that good stuff, why you'll be consistent in that each and every day, no matter what. And I gave myself a year. I wrote down a timeline and said, you know what? If I don't see any progress in the year, if I truly believe I've been consistent daily for a year and I see nothing happen, I'll quit. Maybe it's not for me. And within six months, I had quit my job. I had come home to my little girl and I had an empowering moment of, this is me. I can do whatever I want. It was nobody else pushing me to do it. I quit watching stupid TV at night and I got to work because I was sick of making excuses for not getting where I wanted to be. I was working at a job that I didn't like and I decided to get out of it. And I stopped making excuses, oh, it's this, oh, it's that, and just made it happen. And so I sacrificed, I didn't go out on the weekends, I didn't have a babysitter, I struggled, I got up early to do my workouts, I would go to work, I would come home, I wouldn't watch, like I said, I was a huge reality TV person. I was like, bravo, Desperate Housewives of this. <laughs> like everything, you name it, I watched it. Um, and I, I tuned that out. I started reading personal development. I started gaining confidence. Um, and I grew this mini team. I had this little team and I just kept going. I didn't see huge growth my first year. I didn't see millions of dollars come in, but I saw myself blossom into a leader. I saw myself grow confidence. I became a mom that I wanted to be. So all the things on my checklist were checked off. It wasn't just make hundred dollars a week. It wasn't just, you know, help three people in a challenge group. It was bigger than that. It was my family. It was myself. Um, so I would really encourage you to write down those reasons of why you want to coach and why you'll continue to coach and why you'll be consistent in this and why you want to push and what's going to make you drive harder than the next person and what's going to make you succeed in this. Um, so setting goals, I think, that's what I wanted to end with. Um, you know, talk to your upline coach about these reasons, because if you have different reasons than I do, or you have different reasons than, you know, the coach sitting next to you or, you know, the people on your team, that's okay. But to make sure that your coach knows what your reasons are, because we want to support you in your reasons, because my why might not be somebody else's why. My paycheck number in my head or my goals of where I want to go in this business might not be yours. So make sure you write it down and make sure you set aside time with your coach or me as your star diamond upline. Um, whoever your star diamond upline, I'm trying to think Amanda's not on the call anymore, but uh, make sure you ask your coach who's your star diamond upline and have a three-way conversation. We do these zoom calls um, and we're here to support you in whatever your reasons are, whatever your goals are, whatever your timeline is, whatever, you know, in six months, if you're trying to, you know, quit a job, or maybe you're just trying to make a car payment through this, whatever it is, write them down, make it personalized to you and share it with your coach, because that will really, really help you in sharing your story on Facebook in inviting people in having passion for this. Um, and then the last thing I just wanted to touch on is that your first month as a coach, our goal is to help you just make your investment back. So if you, you've purchased a challenge pack, we just want to help you get that back. So you're starting at zero because that's a good feeling. You're running a business for zero dollars. Like that's awesome. You get Shakeology um, to help you in your fitness and health goals and you can run this business at whatever pace you want. So talk to your coach. If it's me, if it's Morgan, it's Carrie, Allison, whoever your upland coach is, ask them and say, what do I need to do to make my investment back? And I guarantee they'll tell you, go invite people and find three people to get a challenge and join us in our next challenge group.
and that's it. That will help you get your um, investment back and it will help you get started right in your first month. So with that being said, your homework, just write down your why, set up a one-on-one -on -one if you haven't had one with your coach. I highly encourage just reaching out to your coach, ask to sit down, talk on the phone, do a Zoom chat, whatever it may be, um, and go over your goals so that they can help you make a game plan of what you need to be doing to reach those. All right, any questions? We have about eight minutes left. You can unmute yourself. I can mute. Everyone. Hey, Ooh, hold on. Yikes. Sorry. Ooh, <laughs> that was scary. Um, anybody have any questions or want to share anything or touch on anything that I went over? No. Did it make sense? Was it helpful? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Why well, was, was gonna say that I touched I touched on everything and nobody has questions because it was flawless. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> anyway, I hope it helped you guys kind of get started. Um, like I mentioned in the beginning of the call, I know that we were in I was in Utah. Um, some of my leaders were in Utah, so I know that we had some new coaches and I wanted to make sure that everybody had kind of the fundamentals and keys to, you know, running their business and knowing where to go. So anyway, that was it for me. If anybody doesn't have anything, I'm going to call it a night. This recording, um, it takes a minute to like have it transfer over, but then I'll post it on YouTube. So if you're signing new coaches or you are on a team and you want to use this, go for it. Or you have, you know, you want to reference it for any of the um, notes that you may have taken or, um, downloads you should be doing just check it again my youtube has all my calls so anyway that's it and don't hesitate to reach out to me or our team because we're all a big group so even if you didn't sign up with me or this is your first chat with me um i'm always here so find me message me ask me questions that's why I'm here. so thanks for jumping on guys have a good night Bye. See ya. Bye.